In the Ozarks, one man is dead and another recovering after a shooting in Camdenton on Thanksgiving Day. Marina Silva is live in Camdenton with the latest update on the investigation. Marina? Lee, we know the people involved are a father and a daughter's boyfriend. Now, officers are investigating after one man is dead and another one is injured but expected to be okay. I did speak with a neighbor who was around the area and says he never would have guessed that this would have happened. I couldn't believe it because I was uh, across the fence neighbors with the next door guy. Lauren Sheets has lived right next door to the man who died for years. He says they were pretty good friends. We were laughing back and forth all the time. He says he was headed home from Thanksgiving with his family, and police told him he had to stay back. I saw a whole line of police and ambulance with lights on, and they also had a fire truck parked sideways across the road holding traffic back from coming down this way. Police Chief Jeff Beecham says they were called out around 3.30 yesterday afternoon to report of a shooting. The 20-something-year-old that had been shot in the back was outside. The man who police say did the shooting was inside. The officers responded to the residence where the shooting did occur. Uh, and upon entering the residence, they located a 70-year-old male that had allegedly done the shooting and uh, he was uh, uh, dead upon their arrival from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. For the motive, officers are still investigating. Apparently they had uh, been in an argument um, and uh, during the argument, the 70-year-old male uh, had acquired a, a uh, weapon uh, during that time. She says it makes it even more tragic that it was on a holiday. I couldn't understand. It's, it's like one of the favorite holidays of the year for families. And and I talked to other neighbors that were walking around up there, and they, they were the same. They acted the same. Well, I don't get what's going on on a holiday. She says he has lived in that neighborhood for more than 20 years, and he doesn't remember anything like this ever happening. Now, Police Chief Jeff Beecham says that the 24-year-old male is going to be okay. Reporting live in Camdenton tonight, I'm Marina Silva, KY3 News.